Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, today I thought I would do uh, kind of like a, a tour of my desk where I do my art stuff, my writing, uh, things like that. But I also thought, because I done one back in 2017, uh, I put it up online and a lot of people were really interested in it. A lot of things have changed since then, but also uh, I thought that I would do, uh, give you a little glimpse of some of the products that I will be reviewing in the next few months and stuff like that. It's not all of them, but it's it's a big chunk of them. Um, now, obviously, because I'm showing you this stuff that I'm going to be reviewing, uh, it's all over the place. But it, I can assure you, it's not like this all the time. It's all tucked away, that type of thing. It's much neater and stuff like that. Um, as you can see here, I have a little desk. This desk here pulls out. I, I draw on this desk. Uh, it pulls out underneath that. It's kind of like slips underneath that main one whenever I'm not drawn. Um, or I just don't need to use it, whatever. So that's not normally out either. But I've got it out for the purpose of this video. But I'll come back to that in a second. As you can see here, uh, there's a lot of supplies under there. I'll come back to those in a second. Uh, but this is kind of like my main desk. So. I will uh, show you everything on here and then we'll go back over and I'll show you all the different things that I've got for review. So we'll work from left to right here. Um, so down at the bottom here, um, I have a, a card reader. Now I have a card reader already built into the MacBook Pro there, but um, for some reason when I put the cards into the MacBook Pro, it won't allow me to delete uh, the videos after I've transferred them and edited them and stuff like that so I don't know what's going on there uh, I have my Bluetooth speaker here I have to listen to music all the time whenever I'm um, drawing or writing um, I never have the TV on or anything like that I've always got to be listening to music uh, here I've just got an ordinary lamp but it's got one of those daylight light bulbs in it which obviously helps whenever you're drawing um, to see, get your colors better that type of thing uh, up at the top here, I've got my uh, external hard drives. I've got loads of those. Uh, this is a six terabyte one. This three terabyte, I think, and then the others are just two terabyte hard drives. Uh, I need loads of storage and space and stuff like that because of the videos that I'm doing. So I just keep that all there. Uh, it's actually my daughter who, when I do my videos and stuff like that, she's the one who will put them on, you know, store them and archive them and stuff like that. I can't sit and do all that, it just it would kill me. Um, these are my Tombow Irrigitin pencils. Uh, just let me zoom in there so you can see them properly. Um, beautiful pencils, I've done a review of those. In fact, actually a lot of the things that I've, I'm gonna be showing you here, I have already reviewed. Um, and I'll put links to those reviews down below and you can go across and take a look at the reviews if you are interested, if you haven't already done so. Um, Okay, so this little thing here, uh, my youngest daughter was out shopping with my wife. Uh, it's actually, a, it's it's like a little drawer set. Uh, it's actually a makeup thing. I forget where she got it. I don't, I, but she's seen it and she thought, oh, that would be good for daddy's pencils and stuff like that. So she brought this home for me and um, and I love it. So I have like uh, pencils like uh, the Prismacolor Color Erase, uh, the Prismacolor Very Thin and uh, some of the uh, Derwin Studio pencils in there. This drawer here, I've got the Durban Pastel Pencils, um, but I also have uh, I have a set of Unison Pastels, which I'll show you in a minute, but these are kind of like extra ones that I've bought, I've picked up um, over the time. Uh, these are some uh, Prismacolors pencils that I have in here. These ones are from the 72 set, the, the, the two 72 sets that I purchased right back at the very beginning when I started drawing and stuff like that. So they're kind of spares now because so, since then I've bought the 150 set. Uh, down here we've just got a few straggles, a few bits and bobs, um, extra pencils, that type of thing. Uh, Durban Pro Colors, uh, Faber-Castell, some uh, pencil blenders, um, I think. Um, Yeah, I've got some extra pencils that I've purchased from uh, the, from Emma's color pencil shop. They go in here if I don't have if they're not ready to go out onto the uh, platforms. Uh, down on this one here, 
Uh, I have my Derwent Intense uh, Paint Pan Travel Set, which I haven't got around to reviewing yet, so I need to get that done. Uh, and then this bottom one just has bits and bobs in it, that type of things, like uh, eraser guards, that type of thing. Erasers, rubbers, um, Tombow Mono Eraser, uh, Sharpener, that type of thing. Um, and this... This is actually this is actually the box that the the Bluetooth speaker came in, uh, and I thought you know I couldn't throw it out. I thought you know that this will come in handy. So uh, I've got a few bits and bobs in there as well, like the um, sanding block, some jelly roll pens, some pencil extenders, a craft knife. Uh, again, some more Prismacolor pencils. Uh, that was because I think the Prismacolor pencils are in there because I've just recently done a drawn the Thanos drawn. Which I used a lot of Prismacolor pencils on. Um, here I have my MacBook Pro. It's pretty old. It's 2011, I think it is. So it's not anything special, but it gets the job done that I need at the minute. Okay, so here we have um, my first uh, set of uh, markers. So this is my Copic markers. Uh, it's a mixture of Copic Chow and Copic Sketch markers. I just Every now and again, I pick up a sketch marker, um, like maybe once a week or something like that, I'll buy one or two um, and just add to the collection that way. It's going to take a lot, uh, a while, but I'll get there in the end. Up at the top here, I've got some Windsor Newton brush markers. Uh, that it's These ones here are just the brush markers. They're not the, the fine nib ones or anything like that. Uh, I, I do. I am going to be doing a review of these. I was going to do a, a video on Copic markers as well, but I thought to myself, you know, I, there's so many videos out there on Copic markers. I'm not too sure if I, there's anything I can say that hasn't already been said, but I, I, I don't know. I might get around to doing that. If 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 anybody's interested in, in a video on Copic markers, just leave a comment down below, and then I'll you know I'll do one if people are interested. But if not, I'll just leave it. Okay, so uh, here is one of my sets. You can hear my iPad and my phone going off there. I'm really sorry. It's just the, the amount of social network uh, media messages that I get on a daily basis and stuff like that, which I love. But um, whenever I'm doing these videos, it's you can hear going off in the background. Um, okay, so down at the bottom here, the first two rows here are my Karen Dash Pablo pencils. Um, they are continued on over here. I'll show you those in a second. Uh, the next four rows, one, two, three, four, is the full set, the 120 set of Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. Here at the top is my uh, Karen Dash Luminance, the, the 76 set. And then over here I have the, um, the Karen Dash Museum Acroel. Now I only have a, tw I've purchased a 20 set for, um, for review purposes. Then I, Ended up buying a few uh, open stock pencils from Emma's uh, color pencil shop. The color pencil shop, sorry. Uh, and then I just thought, what the hell? I'll I'll just go and get the um the wooden box set. So I'll show you that when it arrives as well because they're they're fantastic pencils. Um. And while I'm on this, you know, talking about open stock pencils, like I've said. The color pencil shop by Emma is fantastic. I'll put a link down to her store. She ships worldwide. It's fun. she she does a great job. Um. Okay. So this thing here is my microphone. But as you can see here, there's kind of like a, a daylight light on it. It's a strip light. It comes. It came with uh, a white box I have for taking photographs of products, so that the the photographs are bright and vibrant and you can see them clearly. Um. Uh, but this strip light uh wasn't really doing anything other than when I was taking the photographs. So I thought, well, I'll take it off and I'll blue tack it on here and cable tie it around there. Uh, and it just acts as like a, a really good light so I can pull it uh, over to wherever I need it to be uh, for when I'm drawing that type of thing. So that was handy. Um, here I have my style file markers. Now I absolutely love these markers. Absolutely love them. There's three different types. Again, I've done a review of those, but uh, Stylefile also sent me um, their stand, which is beautiful. Uh, it just, just really sets these markers off perfectly. Um, you can see down there all the different colors that are available. This one here, this, this is the full set of brush markers that they have. Then they have their classic, and then they have a, 
a, a marker called the all round like i say i've done reviews on those you can have a look at that okay so the next set of pencils uh like i say here th this top two sets is the the Karen dash pablo set and then the other sets down at the bottom here is the 150 set of uh prismacolor premier pencils so those are the pencils that i kind of predominantly use uh, other than a load of my Derwent pencils but they are I'll show you those in a second they're kind of like tucked away neatly in my little bag my Derwent uh, carry bag uh, so next up here we have um, all my uh, Spectrum Noir markers so that I have the the uh, illustrator markers, the graphic markers, and then down at the bottom here, I have the, the watercolor markers. Again, I've done reviews of those. Fantastic markers. My favorite are their graphic markers, and I am absolutely in love with their uh, watercolor markers as well. Fantastic, so versatile, it's unbelievable. Uh, two sharpeners down here that I use all the time, this M&R hand crank one, and then my trusty Derwent uh, Super Point one. Uh, again, I've done reviews of those. Um, I've got two boxes of the Derwin graphic. Uh, you know the 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 pens, the the paint pens. So I've got to do a review on those. But we got those last year on holiday. Over we were we went to the Derwin Museum. Uh, I bumped into Don, who's the Derwin Museum manager. They were having a fantastic deal on. With those uh, I think they were reduced down to 15 pounds a box or something like that um, she gave me a box to review I took them back we took them back the kids used them and then Vicky even Vicky started using them we went down and we bought another two boxes so uh, the kids and Vicky loved them so much bear in mind they're not art people uh, except for my eldest daughter uh, just a, a little cup here. Uh, I've got some Karen Dash luminance in there, and then I've got some extra of my uh, probably my favorite pencil of all time, the Derwent Drawn pencil. Absolutely love those. The colors in those are just beautiful. Um, some extra um, leads for uh, a clutch pencil that I have, uh, and then some extra markers up here, as you can see, for the. Um, the Spectrum Noir markers down at the bottom there. These markers here, right? These uh, Tinge markers, I think they're called. They were the very first markers I ever bought. I think there was about five or six of them. Um, I've seen them in a store here in the UK called The Works, which is like a real cheap art store. It's, it's, it's not the greatest for art supplies. But I seen them and I thought, you know what, they, they look like those Copic markers that everybody's talking about. So I brought them back and I tried them on printer paper, which is obviously terrible. Uh, and, and the result was terrible. And I just thought, oh, this all this marker nonsense is obviously not for me. I can't use these markers. I'm not using them properly or I can't use them. So I stopped until I learned a little bit more about art and using products. Okay, so next I have... Um, some palm pastels. Now, I got sent these by palm pastels. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a full in-depth review, and I've, uh, I've, I'm in the middle of doing an art piece with them as well. They are outstanding. I've I'd seen loads of people using them before. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really understand how just how good they were. Um, so look out for that review. That review will be coming very soon. Okay, so down the side here, kind of like where I sit. Oh, let me just bend down. Oh goodness. Okay, so here, um, I have some fine liners from Spectrum Noir. Again, I've done a review of those. I've got some extra ink here for uh the Copic markers. Uh, this is my Karen Dash Neo colors. They're always right there by my side, just in case I need to use them. Uh, these are my paint brushes for doing some any watercolor stuff that I want to do, uh, uh, as well as um, brush pens, water pens, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm actually going to do uh, like a little video on on brush pens, water pens, that type of thing, because uh, I get asked quite a lot about those. 
So, and I've got quite a lot of them, you know, different brands and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a video on those as well. Um, I've got a fair few of these uh, Posca pens here as well, because they're really excellent, really good fun to use those. Uh, and these these are the, the pens that I was telling you about from Derwent, the, the graphic. Uh, the two boxes that I showed you up there, This is these are from the, the third box that we ended up buying. Um, these are amazing. But I'm, like I say, I will do a review of those very soon. And then the, I've just got some fine liners here as well, some Copic multi liners, that type of thing. Uh, in there is just jam packed with uh, products that I have to review. Some of the boxes of the pencils that are on the top of the box uh, that I've just showed you. Um, so, and there's pastels in there that I have to review as well. That's the 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 unison set that I have, uh, and there's there's loads more pastels because I've been getting into pastels. Um, these I I bought uh about four of these. These are so uh Koinor, uh pencil erasers, and I heard that these were going like Koinor were going to stop making these. Um, so I, I bought one, absolutely loved it, and then I went out and bought four more, just in case the rumor was right. So as you can see there, they are uh, going over. Um, but again, I've, I've done a, a kind of a, a review of um, sharpeners. I'll do a review on the water brush pens, and I'll also do a review on... Um, Pencil erasers, that type of thing. Uh, we've got a couple of little um, Derwent pencil case things here. I've done the, the the pencil wrap, and I've also done a review on the pencil carry bag. I haven't done a review on these, but I will do because these are really handy to have uh, by Derwent. Uh, my son made this for me a long, a long time ago from a desk um, when he was much, much younger than he is now. But I keep it. Oh, okay, so um, as you can see here, I have my Strathmore uh, journals, my visual journals. I've got loads of these now. Um, I've got a mixed media one there. I've got a Bristol Smooth. In fact, I have this, this Bristol Smooth one is uh, kind of like a, a swatch filled with all my marker colors so I can find them. Um, the, the, the mixed media one I've used for... Um, I think it's this one because because I have some just for drawing in obviously, uh, yeah, and I've I've got like uh, colors in here for all the pencils that I use, so I can just flick through it. It's in one place and it's easy to to find, uh, and then I have a watercolor one here as well for all my watercolor pencils, so I can you know do the swatches and things like that. This book here is kind of like my lifeline. This has all my contacts of all the um, all the companies that I deal with. Uh, it has all my notes in there for all the pencils that I'm reviewing. Uh, any conversations I have with the companies, I write down all my notes in this book. So this book is so valuable for me. It's just uh, crazy. Um, but you can see that it's got loads of stickers all over it, loads of Tombow and uh, Koinor stickers and things like that. But this is my lifeline this this is uh everything to me okay so we'll go out here and i'll show you the kind of like this little desk so um this little desk uh, i keep all my uh paper like pads all my small pads my kind of like my a4 pads on here uh or you know journals things like that anything that i can use um those visual journals, that type of thing. Um, this, this is just like a, a stencil for if I needed to do circles or whatever. Somebody bought me this a long time ago and I love it. Um, I know it looks a little bit feminine, but it's uh, it's it's Italian and it has really nice paper in it. Um, but, and then up here, okay, so this is my desk. Like I say, it's it doesn't normally have this stuff on it. So, 
This is the box of the Karen Dash Museum Aqua Royale pencils that I told you about. Um, these are some Koinor uh, graphite pencils. Uh, I forgot to say over there. Um, I I have the the the, the ten of Karen Dash graphite pencils, which uh, I I have a review for as well. But uh, I have a load of Koinor graphite pencils still to review. Um, so that's two of the sets there because uh, they've got uh, different types of graphite pencils. They have this set as well, which is, and they're different grades. Like, you know, you've got student grade, that type of thing. Um, so now I'm kind of showing you what, what is coming up for review. So I have the Arteza uh, graphite pencils that I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, I have this Windsor & Newton uh, watercolor set which uh, I use all the time you can see here it's a, it's a bit of a mess but my watercolor stuff isn't really up to showing people just yet uh, this is another set of uh, Koinor uh, this is the gray set of uh, polycolor pencils that they have um, I've got to review those Although I've done a, uh, a review of the polycolor, so you know the fundamentals of it, it's still nice to show people the extra sets, like because I've done a set of the browns and now the greys as well. Um, this one here is Koinor's um, professional grade graphite pencils. They look beautiful, those. Uh, as you can see, um, I haven't used them properly yet because when I do a review, I like people to see them kind of like almost new. Uh, unless I've done a little bit of artwork with them, which I will be doing with these ones, but I I love these pencils. These these are gorgeous looking. Koinor have done a really great job with these. Yeah, Koinor is one of one of the many companies that um has supported me absolutely unbelievably, and Spectrum Noir and a few others. Uh, Derwent as well. Intense blocks here that I have to review as well from Derwent. Um, I'll be doing that alongside the. The, the little travel pan set that they have. Some Derwent watercolour. Th these were all purchased when they had that uh, sale on at the, the museum. Now these pencils here are Spectrum Noir's uh, colour blend and aqua blend. Um, I know I've done reviews of these, but they brought out uh, some extra colours. They brought out 24 extra colours in the aqua blend and 24 extra colours in the colour blend. So that meant then that that pushed both ranges up to 150 because they had 100 and, um, I think it was 120, 146. I think it pushed it up to 150 or 146, uh, the total range. But I will be doing a review of those. Obviously, I've just finished the review of the uh, Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils, which are just amazing. Um, I have this little box here, and it's got little bits and bobs in it. My Dixon Ticonderoga pencils, more uh, erasers for my Derwent thing. Um, I've got loads of blades in here for uh, my little m &R hand sharpener. Um, it's so important that you change the blades on your sharpeners because without doing so, it's just going to rip your pencils to shred. Uh, and especially if you're using, you know, you're sharpening really top quality pencils like your luminance or something like that. You want an extra sharp blade in there to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, now over on to the good stuff. So here we go. This is uh, all the stuff that I have to review. So you can see here the Derwent Lightfast. I can't really say much more about that. Okay, um, you'll you'll know more about that when it comes out. I have some Conte um, pastel pencils that I have to review. Uh, I love these. Uh, I also have the Mitsubishi uh, Uni color pencils. I haven't actually used those yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but I have wanted this set for such a long time, and I've had them now for a couple of months, uh, so I need to get them. I've got some watercolor brush brush pens uh, sent to me by a company. Um, I've got to do a review of those really soon as well. This is the uh, Arteza uh, brush pen set, Six, 96 colors in this. Now, I've used these. These are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. 
Um, I'll be having a review of those up. Uh, over on the Koinor, they have I've done Koinor's uh, extra soft pastels, but they have here um, pastel pencils. Uh, this is a set of forty eight. Um, these are really good pencils as well. I'll show you those as well in a review. Uh, then I have here as well Koinor's woodless uh, color sticks, which are aqua well, you know, water based. Um, pencils really really nice uh, pencils I've done a review of Koinor's woodless uh, polycolor type pencils you know just ordinary wax based pencils but they obviously have these watercolor woodless pencils as well uh, I've done the Arteza ones uh, I also have a review coming up of the Arteza uh, fine liners now I purchased this set myself because uh, I was so impressed with all the other Arteza stuff that I was sent um, I just wanted to get these fine liners because uh, I use fine liners for, uh, occasionally, but they were such a good price, just like all the other stuff. Um, okay, I've got some Spectrum Noir. Sorry, guys, I've got a, uh, I've got to sit down. My back's killing me. Um, I've got some Spectrum Noir Colorista Aqua pencils. These are really bright, vibrant pencils. Uh, there's only twenty four in the set, but I will be reviewing these soon. In fact, actually, I've done the written review for those. Uh, I also have these from Spectrum Noir. These are their metallic pens. Now, when they told me that they had these metallic pens, you know what I'm like about metallic pencils and things like that. Um, I've always thought up until recently that the most of them are just like a gimmick, you know? The, the, like the bronze looks more like a brown and the gold looks more like a dirty yellow, that type of thing. These metallic markers are phenomenal really really good they really are like metallic it's um well i you, you'll just see it whenever i do the review of it um i also have the tombow uh pencils i'm not sure what they're called uh they, they're just like tombow and i think 36 is the 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 um the biggest that they do of this particular set but um let me see if I can open this with one hand there we go but you can see the pencils there the I haven't actually used these so I can't really comment too much on them they were supposed to go out in Color Pencil Magazine and one of the issues coming up around Christmas time but obviously that's not happening now so um but I will be doing a review of these. Uh, I'm, I've just finished my review of the uh, Soho pencils from Jerry's Artorama. And Arteza sent me these uh, woodless colour pencils as well. These are um, watercolour pencils. So I'll be doing a review of those as well. Now I have some other pencils under that uh, desk there that I showed you. Um, I've got some Van Gogh ones. Uh, from, uh, oh, I forget the company, Royal Talons, they are called now. Um, but I, I've got a few other pencils under there, some unnamed ones, some that are not really popular. We have a, uh, a shop over here called WH Smiths. It's kind of like a stationery shop. Um, they have their own brand of pencils, so I'm going to be doing a review of those as well. But that is really about it, guys. That is my... My setup, where I do all my artwork, uh, it's an absolute total bomb site at the minute, but it's not always like that. The desk is much, there's much more space available on the desk when I don't have all these bits and bobs out, but um, I have them out just to show you guys. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit long, 30 minutes like, but it is just showing you everything and don't forget i'll have a link to all the different materials that i've just showed you uh in the description down below so if you've got any questions or there's anything in particular that you would like to see me review leave it in the comments section and i will get around to doing it but as you can see i have a lot of products that i have to review first so if you put something down just give me a little bit of time to purchase it and to get it and review it and that type of thing uh, and that is it guys thank you so much 
for uh, stopping by and watching this video. I hope it ha hasn't been too boring or kept you too long, but um, I really appreciate all your support and uh, thank you so much for everything, all the wonderful comments that you guys are leaving for me over here and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all the shares that people do for me as well. Every time I put a post out, loads of you are sharing the videos and sharing the, the, the written blogs that I'm doing as well, which is a huge help to me. Uh, and it's it's probably the the biggest reason why my channel is growing as fast as it is. So thank you so much. Anyway, guys, like I said, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram if you want to be kept up to date with new things coming out, especially now that you've seen all the different products that I'm going to be reviewing in the next couple of months. So if you want to, if there's anything in particular there that you really want to see, follow me on any of those other sites and uh, you'll be notified as soon as this comes out. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.